I mean, the balance was $49,920.28. The goal for 2022 was to go ahead and pay off the mortgage by December 31st, 2022. Did we do it? Because it says we did it. We're free. I guess you're going to have to stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Nyjia here from the Bacon Bit Squad. Wait, I didn't say that right. Hey guys, this is Nyjia here from Budgeting the Bacon. Today is Mortgage Monday. Guys, you know what it is. I have to go ahead and give an end of the year update. I did come out with a video probably a couple days ago that showed a payment that was made early December. I wasn't able to keep track of that, or actually I wasn't able to film any more videos because it got super busy in December and I also traveled so that was that but i'm here today to give you an update and tell you exactly what has gone on with our mortgage for this year and to let you know the final numbers for 2022 but first of all let me go ahead and give a shout out to the bacon bit squad thank you guys so much for coming back here to all the returning subbies as well as those subbies that are new to my channel Thank you guys so much for being here and being on this journey with me, whether you came over from watching the investing videos or the Mortgage Monday videos. Really, really appreciate you guys and happy 2023. Okay, normally I don't say it after the first day, but I'm, you know, just to be nice, to, you know, switch it up a little bit for 2023. Happy New Year, you guys. Hope everything went well ending for 2022 and that you are focused and ready for 2023. Happy mail. This one is from D. When we last left off of the last video, which I put out last week, we were at a balance of $21,999. Now, if you remember, the goal was to get it up under $20,000. So to $19.99. We already had discovered that we weren't going to be able to pay it off by December, okay, by December 31st. However, the goal was to get it up under $20,000. Did we do it? Dun, dun, dun. We did not. Okay, let me just, let me just go ahead and say that. <laughs> okay, we did not do it. Um, a couple things came up. Like I said, we were traveling, just kind of holding on to money and just trying to wait and see how things went and also some of that money i was going to apply to the travel but you you guys are going to see how some things worked out so that is where we left off for the end of december uh, we did make an extra payment of $44.89. Not sure why I did the $0.89, cents, but that's neither here nor there. It ended up making the whole balance off again with the no cents. But so we ended off with $21,550.10. So I'm sorry, $21,550.10 was the balance that we left off on for the 31st. Okay. And so going into this year, for sure, we will be paying this mortgage off. Now, I've done a couple of calculations to where it's either it could be paid off in April or either it could be paid off in July. But either way, it's not going past August. Ideally, I would love for it to be paid off before my birthday in April because that would be like the best birthday present ever. And I can start on some additional endeavors that I have. If you've been paying attention to me on IG as well as here, I've started talking more and showing more about how I'm investing and how I want to get to my first 100k so that's pretty important to me but anyway more on that later so January 3rd a payment came out which was the normal principal payment of $759.78 and I need to write that in a little bit but all do 759.78 that made the balance to twenty thousand seven hundred ninety dollars and thirty two cents now i went on ahead and made another or i made a payment of five hundred one dollars and thirty two cents and that money was basically money left over from last month from the mortgage principal that i had not paid that i was kind of like holding on to for the travel but i was like you know what it's already earmarked for the mortgage and so we're just going to go ahead and put it on there and so that's what i did 501 dollars 32 cents 
And so 2790, 32 minus 501, 32. That is bringing the balance down to $20,289. So we're almost up under that 20K mark. So we can go ahead and color in two more of these. This tracker right here I created, it's no longer on my Etsy shop. I'm in the process, as I've stated before, getting my own site up and running so that I can have my printables on there. But if you are interested in any of the printables that I talk about that are mine, feel free to email me at budgetingthebacon at gmail.com and I can discuss with you getting those to you for a very, very, very inexpensive fee. I do not charge much for my printables at all. So it says that we're up to March 2029 as far as payments, okay? Which is <laughs> really good because this amortization sheet goes all the way up to August 2031. Oh, excuse me, July 2031. So this is all that we have left after we finish coloring this in, guys. I mean, we are super close. And I just want to thank everyone for the support week after week, coming back to the channel, seeing exactly what's going on. And I know some weeks I don't upload. That's just because life gets busy. But I really appreciate you guys sticking in here. And even when some of you all do comment and say, hey, I was looking forward to this. I hadn't seen you in a while. I really appreciate it. That's where we're ending. 21550 10. I do need to print off another one of these sheets right here. Total principal payment that we paid for 2022 because we started off at $49,920.28. Total principal $28,370.88. That is how much that we applied to the mortgage. Now I will say it could have been a lot more and I was Hoping that we could have chunked like 5000 towards it at the end of the year. But we did have a lot of dental and medical expenses that we incurred during the summer and this fall uh, for all of us, especially my son. So that took up a large portion. Or that actually took up the $5,000 because of all of this, the stuff that we were paying for. Okay, too funny. She said, I couldn't pick just one LOL series versus funny. Okay, so she knows me because y'all know. Um, I crack up a lot. So, peace. I love this. Look at those birds, guys. Aw. <laughs> Look at Oh, let it snow. I love these. I'm going to put these all up on my wall. <laughs> all right. So, it says, thanks so much for the beautiful car. So many blessings to you for being a great friend through this Your jokes and humor have been what I needed. I'm so happy we have crossed paths. I hope you have a blessed holiday and to many more. Wishing you simple beauty of the season and a new year. Peace and promise. Happy holidays. It's D. Okay, so see, it is It's D, guys. And I love this. Oh, I love the birds. So cute. Okay, what did she put in here? What did you put in here? <laughs> All right, it says, rocking around the Christmas tree. Nigel, let's rock around the Christmas tree with our classic beats and songs, a small twerk session. Many blessings is D. Okay, so guys, if you don't know, D and I have this, this connection, okay? So I used to live in Atlanta for forever, okay? From like I was 11 to 21 years old. And so obviously I, you know, I grew up in like the era with the crunk music and all that stuff. So anything that has like the beat dropping, D and I are on board with it because she lives in Alabama. So it's um every time there's a song that like we can relate to, you know what I'm saying? We're always like sending it to sending it to each other in like DMs or I'm like tagging her in something, you know, that I put out for like a reel or a story or something like that. So yeah, she's absolutely right about the whole twerk session because I do a lot of chair twerking. Okay. I just it's a lot of chair twerking going on whenever I hear it up. A, a cool beat <laughs> or what well, I think is a cool beat probably not to this generation now but anyway thank you so much D for the lovely cards I'm definitely going to be putting them up on my wall right, guys if you happen to like this video feel free to go ahead and give it a like if you happen to like any of the videos that you see on my channel and you want to follow along with this mortgage Monday series and I do have a whole entire playlist of, of over 50 videos regarding this 
definitely, definitely, definitely go ahead and subscribe to the channel and make sure you hit that all notification bell. Until the next video, guys. Bye.